Hello friends, in today's question, a block of mass 1 kg and another 2 kg are placed together on an inclined plane with an angle inclination theta. Various values of theta are given in list 1. The coefficient of friction between m1 and the plane is always 0. The coefficient of static and dynamic friction between block m2 and the plane is equal to mu 0.3. So, in the list 2, expression for the friction of the block M2 are given. Match the correct expression of the friction in list 2 with the angles given in list 1 and choose the correct option. The acceleration due to gravity is denoted by G. So, in this case, the figure is given like this. So, we have two blocks M1 and m2 and this is angle theta m1 is given as 1 kg m2 is given as 2 kg and we are supposed to find out what will be the the matching with respect to the angle and the frictional value and it is said that there is no friction between m1 and uh, you can say inclined plane Whereas M2 is having a friction of friction coefficient at mu that is 0.3. So let us divide into two components. Let's divide first of all the M2. So this will be our M2G. It can divide into two components. Theta. So this will be our m to g cos of theta and this will be m to g sin of theta and similarly we can write for m1 also so this will be m1g and it will be same along this line so theta so we have m1g cos of theta and we have m1g sin of theta now the friction is only because of M2. So let us call that friction as FR. So it says that let us assume that it is in equilibrium or we can say the condition for not slipping. condition for not slipping we can see that our maximum value of the friction fr max should be greater than or equal to the downward forces that is m1g sin theta and plus m2g sin theta which we can written as m1 plus m2 g sin of theta and the maximum value of the friction you can say fr max will be equal to mu multiplied by normal n2 let us put this is n2 and n2 is given as m2g cos of theta so you can say our fr max is equal to mu m2g cos of theta so from here we substitute the value of f2 fr max in this equation so this gives us mu m to g cos of theta is greater than equal to m1 plus m2 g sin of theta g cancel out with g and we can write this as tangent of theta is less than equal to m1 is 1 and m2 is 2 so this will be 1 plus 2 and we have sorry written wrong let me write it here 
m2 divided by m1 plus m2. We substitute the values. So we get mu is given as 0 0.3 and m2 is given as 2 kg and this is our 3 kg. So this will be coming as tangent of theta is less than equal to point zero point two, and we can say our theta is given as eleven point five less than equal to right this way. So now from here we can find out that what will be the condition of slipping. Um, if we can say that if angle theta is less than 11.5 then there will be no slipping and from here we can say if there is no slipping then the friction will be static friction will be static and its value will be given as fr is equal to m1 plus m2 g sine of theta which is the downward force which ejecting unit okay. from here we can say the value of fr will be equal to the force which is m1 plus m2 g sine of theta acting down the inclined plane down the inclined plane okay. and next if we get that fr is greater than 11.5 you can say if angle theta is greater than 11.5 then we can say slipping will take place will happen now from here we can say the friction will be kinetic friction will be kinetic Therefore, Fr will be equal to mu m2g cos of theta. So this completes the question. Now we come to the options. So entire discussion can be divided into two parts. In the first part, when theta is less than, you can see theta is less than 11.5 and theta is greater than 11.5 okay. so for P Q we have theta is less than 11.5 okay. and for R and S theta is greater than 11.5 Therefore, for both P and Q, if theta is less than 11.5, then the friction is given as M1 plus M2 G sine of theta, which is option number 2. So, you can say P is option number 2. 
as well as Q is option number two. And in case of R and S, if theta is greater than friction is given mu m to g cos of theta, so we have option number three for both R and S is option number three, and S is also option number three. So we can write consolidate it like this: P is two, Q is also two, S sorry R is three as well as S is three. This completes the question. Thank you.